David Schwartz just shocked the entire XRP community with what he just said. If you don't know what he said, I'll share it with you and I want to know what you think. And ETFs for ETH appear to be getting the nod on the 15th. This could be a really good week, everyone. We just got to get through the nonsense first. And I cannot wait to share with you what David said, but you matter most. That's why your comments come first. Silver Surfaces, I am ready. I've been ready. I believe it'll boom within the year. XRP, XLM, XDC, get you some. Dan Bilzerian says, nothing will happen, Klaus. Chill, well, I got your backs. How about this? I've got a voting poll. Poll? Vote? What the fuck, Klaus? You can't talk. Yeah, it's because I just did my workout. But I've got a poll. XRP holders, is this the final shakeout? I will have this linked down below. It's on the community tab. Let me know. Yes, the only way is up from here or no, we got more pain. Buckle up, kiddos. Heat map. Bitcoin sitting at 57,231 ETH, under 329.94. BNB above 5 at 502. Tons still looking healthy at 728. XRP sitting at 43 cents, while XLM laggard, yes, 8.6. We're going to talk about David, what he said. I think you're going to be pissed. But first, the ETF expert predicts in two weeks we're going to get some spot Ethereum ETF action. Now, why? Listen to this. The document returned by the regulator contained light comments in the feedback to filers. According to people familiar with the matter, the spot ETF issuers are expected to submit the S1 forms with their amendments by July 8th. That's only a couple days from now. So you might want to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out because you know I'm going to bring the news when it breaks. The reason there are light comments is because there weren't a lot of modifications being made, okay? When the SEC looks at these approvals and the SEC is like, yo, you need to fix this, this, and this. Some of them are big. Some of them are like, yo, you got to retool everything. Some of them are what they consider light, which is like, look, you just need to make minor adjustments. So when you get light corrections needed, the SEC is only going to need 14 to 21 days to make it happen. So we could get action as early as July 15th. Now we have to ask ourselves, ETH ETF, is that going to help out the alts and say, Bitcoin, go F yourself? Because think about it. When the BTC ETF was going on, we did see some spillover right into these alts here. We did. We did. We, we saw some of the alts move in here. That being said, do we see BTC pump the most? Yes, of course. But the alts did benefit. So now with ETH ETF, do you think we'd get more benefit from the alts and Bitcoin would just sit on its own? I was going to say a naughty word. I won't. Let's get into what David said, but first let me paint the scene. November 20th of 2017, and as always, any article you see in this video, along with all my other ones, will be linked in the description below. David said this, it can't be dirt cheap. He's talking about XRP. That doesn't make any sense. If XRP costs $1, they'd need a million XRP, which would cost a million dollars. If XRP is a million dollars, then they would need one XRP. Again, would cost one million, right? Basically, what he's saying is, look, the price of XRP is the price of XRP. But when he said this comment, hey, this can't be dirt cheap. It needs to be more expensive. People are like, yo, obviously we got to get in on this action. Well, this is what he said now, okay? They asked him, they said, does your statement still apply? Can XRP still work when prices are this cheap? And this is what he says. He says, it does not deviate. It expresses precisely the same idea. Are you kidding me? Like, you got to be kidding me. I mean, that is that is horrible. He says, it still costs $1 to buy enough XRP to make a $1 statement. But David, in 2017, you said it can't be dirt cheap, that it doesn't make any sense, that if you wanted to do mass payments with XRP, you'd need tons and tons and tons and tons of XRP. And if the price keeps going down, it won't work. That's what he said in 2017. And now he comes back and says, nah. It doesn't deviate, it expresses precisely the same idea. So where David was touting that XRP could not work at its price, now he's saying, go F yourselves, basically. Listen to this comment. Umut says, you are a shameless con man. It is currently and has been dirt cheap for years. Now you're trying to put on a spin on it. It's really very simple. It can't be, yet it is. So David Schwartz, like, come on, man. In fact, look at Ronald Carbone. Jeremy Hogan, could you help us out and tell us what Mr. Schwartz double talk is really saying? So what is the deal? Can XRP work when it's this cheap? Because in 2017, you said no, which got a lot of people to get into XRP because the hope was, yo, David Schwartz said it can't be cheap for it to work. Now, here we go. Seven years later, he says, nah, it doesn't deviate. 
What comment do you think it deviates? It still costs one dollar to buy enough XRP to make a one dollar payment. That is messed up. What do you think of David walking back his comments, his double speak, and now making the comment that guess what? Even if the price is cheap, the price is cheap. But my guy, we know what you said in 2017. It can't be dirt cheap. It doesn't make any sense. So now you got to ask yourselves, well, what is it really? In 2017, he says, look, cheap XRP won't work. In order to make payments, you can't have XRP cheap because it would take way too much XRP to make these payments. The whole system wouldn't work. Well, here we are seven years later and we still have cheap XRP, but now Schwartz is like, well, the statement still holds true. Well, yeah, it still holds true. You still need to buy XRP to make the payment, but now you need to buy a hell of a lot more because the price is so far down. But you said that wouldn't work, David, and now we're learning not only does it work, it's the norm, and it's been the norm for the last seven years. So what are your thoughts regarding XRP? Can it still work being this cheap? And have we hit the bottom yet? I'm going to have that poll link down below. I want to hear from you. Was this the final shakeout or do we have more pain to come? Now, for those of you that don't know, I am doing a 100K mountain race. I'm also doing a 50K death race in less than a week. Run, 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 Klaus. I'm going to have that channel along with some training videos linked at the end of this so you can check them out. It's free to subscribe to it. Helps me out. Keeps my head clear when I'm outside of this whole cryptoverse because you understand with this whole crypto world, things get crazy, things get stressful. So I run to avoid the stress. Check out that channel. So what am I doing? I already told you what I'm doing. What are you doing? You're going to fill out that vote thing. You're going to drop me a comment so I got something to read later when I'm the elliptical. Catch a cool cats later.